In today's top cannabis news, the FDA is looking for a contract partner to help test and research CBD products. Some study results confirm what many of us already believe. Cannabis after work helps us de-stress. And when over 100 civil rights groups agree cannabis should be legalized, we hope Congress will agree and act. It's Monday, August 17th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First today, the FDA is hiring a contractor to test thousands of CBD products. Marijuana Moment reports the Food and Drug Administration is looking to award a contract to help study CBD as the agency develops regulations for products containing the non-intoxicating cannabinoid. In a notice published late last week, the FDA said the chosen company will provide support with collecting samples and assessing the quantities of CBD and related cannabinoids, as well as potential associated contaminants such as toxic elements, pesticides, industrial chemicals, processing solvents, and microbial contaminants in food and cosmetics through surveys of these commodities. The FDA said that the results of the studies will not only be reported to Congress, but will also be used to guide the development of future policy and will help to develop a better understanding of the quantities of CBD and associated cannabinoids and their distribution. In the new notice on the General Services Administration's Business Opportunities site, the FDA laid out specific goals for the contractor it seeks to hire. Applications to become the FDA's contractor for CBD research are due by August 31st. Next, we have a new study that says using cannabis after work hours has no negative impacts on the worker. Gontrepreneur reports a San Diego State University study found that after hours cannabis use has no negative effects on workplace performance, but it did find a negative correlation between those who used cannabis before and during work with task performance. In fact, Jeremy Bernerth, management professor at San Diego State University's Fowler College of Business and study co author, suggested that after-hours cannabis use may actually offer some work-related benefits. Dr. Bernerth gave a statement saying individuals deciding to consume cannabis after finishing their work may be able to distract themselves from stressful on-the-job issues. The relaxation induced by cannabis may help employees restore energy spent during the day, and they may subsequently return with more stamina to devote to their job once they are back on the clock. Jack Walker Management professor at Auburn University's Raymond J. Harbert College of Business joined Burnerth on the study, which surveyed 281 employees and their direct supervisors and citizenship behavior or their willingness to voluntarily help the organization or their colleagues. Participating employees and supervisors were recruited through social media and with the help of university business students, though cannabis usage was not required of the participants. Berner said the study is the first in nearly two decades to research cannabis usage in relation to workplace behaviors. Does using cannabis help you cope with work stress? Let us know in the comments on this story on trichomes.com. And last but certainly not least today, the ACLU, NAACP, and other groups urge Congress to approve the cannabis legalization bill next month. A coalition of major drug policy and civil rights organizations is urging congressional leadership to hold a House floor vote on a comprehensive cannabis legalization bill by the end of next month. In a letter to Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, more than 120 groups, including the ACLU, NAACP, Human Rights Watch, Drug Policy Alliance, and Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights said it's imperative to hold the vote on the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act, or the MORE Act. They said leadership should swiftly advance this comprehensive marijuana justice policy that addresses criminal justice reform, racial justice, and equity, and noted that the Judiciary Committee approved the legislation last year. The bill currently has 83 co-sponsors, including two who signed on this week. We strongly urge House leadership to support the passage of this bill, this Congress, and schedule the bill for a vote in September, they said. The MORE Act would federally deschedule cannabis, expunge the records of those with prior cannabis convictions, and impose a federal 5% tax on sales, revenue from which would be reinvested into communities most impacted by the drug war. 
It would also create a pathway for resentencing for those incarcerated on cannabis offenses, as well as protect immigrants from being denied citizenship over cannabis and prevent federal agencies from denying public benefits or security clearances due to its use. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and, of course, leave a review. You can also keep up with Trichomes on all social media platforms and the Trichomes YouTube channel. For trichomes.com, I'm Allison Benyehuda. And my name is David Fortin. Take care.